Hello, hello. Um, this is your host, Esther Abasidis, and I am uh, run uh, the Facebook group, Banquet of Life. If you've looked in this on my energy transformations page rather than on in the, within the group. I do a weekly live on marketing, well, it's called Marketing Monday. Uh, obviously, by, as you guessed by its name, it's all to do with marketing. And because I'm an energy alignment method, it also dovetails, um, it sort of works with energy. So whenever I do any marketing, I'm always aware of my energy and the energy of my clients and when I help and support them. And I'm going to talk to you today about <clears throat> Achilles Hill. So you're probably very familiar with uh, the story of Achilles. Um, it's all dates back to Greek mythology. So the story goes, this is the most popular version of the story, that uh, the nymph Thetis uh, wanted to immortalize her son, who was called Achilles. Um, so this story goes back to the first century AD. Uh, and to do so, she took her son to uh, the underworld, to the river Styx, and she wanted to baptize him or dip him, immerse him fully in the, the waters of the river Styx because she thought that would confer immortality on her son Achilles. But to do so, she had to hold on to the left foot. Um, obviously, he would obviously drop straight away and she'll lose him. So, and that is the reason why that part, the left foot or the heel, remains mort it remained mortal and therefore vulnerable. And it was only later on when Achilles, as a grown man, uh, decided he was a bit ambivalent when it came to fighting in the Trojan War, didn't know which side to fight on. Uh, but in the end, he took sides against, um, you know, Paris and his brother. But Paris actually shot him, um, mortally wounded him in that delicate ankle place. And uh, obviously that was Achilles undoing. So we're all aware that the Achilles heel is all about some vulnerability of some kind. And we all have that in life and in business. Um, when it comes to marketing, the most prevalent vulnerabilities tend to be around, as I found for myself, I'm speaking for myself, as well as some of the clients that I work with, uh, it tends to be around um, visibility, uh, connection, and also with consistency. So I, I'm prone to being a little bit of having a wobble now and again with all of these and my clients also so um, visibility is all about often comes back to a fear of being uh, judged a fear of being um, exposed um, a fear of not um, wanting to be totally totally open or honest and expressing your truth for whatever reason and most of this goes back to our um, you know our inherited beliefs uh, about feeling not as capable or, or confident or, or um, good enough and um, so what I do is I work with clients to overcome these limiting fears so that they can get more visible and it literally works very very quickly you start feeling more confident and they start just stepping forward and once you actually take action that small little step forward it gets easier progressively easier the more little steps that you take uh, and you know we all know that practice makes perfect and I always place emphasis on the fact that we never get it right 100% as much as we like to be perfectionists I certainly do like to be the perfectionist having inherited that from my mother because most of our behaviors and beliefs are inherited uh, and impregnated in our subconscious from a very young age, either from my mother or our father. And so I believe this to be the case with a lot of the women in particular. Um, they set themselves such high standards. And um, so it's often our own undoing that we actually don't become visible. We don't want to share our message. We don't want to sort of show our light. We want to hide our light behind a bushel, under a bushel. And, and you know, we're not doing anybody's service not ourselves, and least of all, the people that we want to serve. Those are our customers or our clients, however you want to define them. And we're all, in, you know, and that may be our employer if we're not actually running our own business. So we need to, well, you know, this is the idea. We need to overcome these inhibitions and these fears and these inherited beliefs. 
and the other part is all about connection too so i talk in my passionpreneur course um, or program this is all relating to the the energy so i i employ a concept of energy in my marketing so it's or in the marketing that i teach it's all about the the dosha flows of energy so um visibility is all about the action taking and taking that deliberate action to actually um make yourself visible and heard and seen and um so and that is all the pit of the fire energy the dynamic energy uh the things the steps that the actual literally practical things that we need to do um to get yeah to get um in front of our customers um so that takes a lot of courage because there's a lot of determination and a lot of um, confidence and as i say confidence sometimes people have got it from a very but a lot of it can actually be developed and it's usually as i said by taking little tiny steps towards that you know towards what you want to achieve um and then the other so that is peter um energy and then i talk a lot about then the connection piece we need to sort of step out of our comfort uh zone we need to actually start connecting with people we can't expect always people to just find us on social media it's such a such a busy place so uh, you know just sitting there and the way you know algorithms work on facebook or any other type of social media platform it's getting more and more difficult to actually just get noticed and so we just need to reach out with people one on one and it's not from a place of like i want to sort of force myself on you and i want you to buy from me it's all about just being in a in a part you know you're in a dance really you're actually inviting them to open up to you to understand what what's happening in their lives is there an element there do they need help in any way in any shape or form and is that something that you can help them with and i'm i've always been a little bit tending on towards the introversion side so i i find that the worst the most challenging part of marketing for me is actually starting initiating that conversation because i was never one for a sort of like small talk and that's what it is you need to sort of engage first of all in in small talk uh, and you know it's no different online as to offline you still need to just overcome that diffidence and start just thinking it's not about me it's about them what can i do to help them and once you sort of flip it that way you can become more confident you can sort of put aside all your inhibitions and fears about being judged or being you know rejected that's where it all comes from this this fear this lack of stepping forward and, and connecting that's all it is and once you sort of flip it to actually think it's not about me it's about them then what is it that you know are they in a good place are they in a bad place or what is it that i offer that can help them and it's just identifying any gap that you know that then there is there with them and is that a gap i can fulfill is that a gap i can i can uh, uh, fill so and that's the um, what I call the kaffir energy the kaffir is all about connection and nurturing so we nurture a relationship marketing is so much to do with people buy from people they don't you know it's all to do with the the human transaction the human element of of a transaction and nothing to do about the physical exchange whether you just uh, you know physical as in terms of the the product or, or the service you know whether it's like an online a course or a one on one service so it's very much about the connection and this is why i say this is we need to work on our own energy so that we're in a higher vibration energy so that when we step into that connection piece we're always in a way that you know we are being the best version of ourselves so that we can offer them the best service or the best product for them um if it, there is seen to be a gap and and we can uh, ident- fulfill that gap or meet that need so that's what it is in the main and my other weakness my Achilles heel is really a consistency and that's all down to processes and possibly um sort of the masculine energy the systems that we put in place to keep us on track to keep us on cue and you know uh, and 
whilst it can be system related i think also it is a human thing we we are vulnerable to um a little bit of self-sabotage um when doing this and it can be linked to certain fears of do i fear uh, being rejected do i fear success as well is that stopping me is that why i'm programming myself and not be consistent because i don't really want to go there um, there's all sorts of fears around that and it's like when we unravel those fears we can then dislodge them and remove them from that um, dialogue or that self you know dialogue and uh, and just see them for what they are really so that we can take the necessary steps and can become more consistent um, and uh, you know I'm no different I, I have that issue with consistency um and sometimes you just need that guiding hand you know guiding light that helping hand to say what is important what can i stay consistent with what are the little pieces of the steps of action that i need to do to actually progress um you know to move me forward to move that needle forward even if it's just a slight bit because a slight bit will always take us in the right direction so because just doing nothing will not serve us you know if we if anything we'll go backwards with that we won't actually uh, ever because if we keep perpetuating them now it's ne our life's never going to change you know the, the definitions of insanity as we've quoted before is repeating the same things and expecting a different outcome well we won't expect a better outcome if we don't make changes uh, and be ready to embrace that change and to to carry out what, to do what we need to do um whatever that may be i mean you, and that's where clarity having somebody to guide you on clearing what is the focus what is important what things will take me a little bit closer to the desired outcome so um so i'll talk all about the energy thing piece uh, but the achilles heel is just knowing where we are vulnerable and identifying them for what they are and not being too attached to that uh, and being ready to to take the courageous action to take the little a step forward in the right direction towards achieving um our ideal you know life our ideal business or whatever it is um, you have a vision you have an expanded vision of where you want to be um and i want to help you to 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 arrive there to 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 grasp it fully with both hands <laughs>